Let's go and implement in Zudo and Moz style. We know that the pull down will remain this. Let's start with C1 first. So this pull down is going to remain the same. G1, P1, and C0. So this is nothing but my C1 bar. This is my ground. And pull up now is nothing but just a P Moz with its input grounded. And this is nothing but VDD. Now put a stick in between the two, or this also is the same thing. So this is my output. So drawing just that you don't get confused. Similarly for C2, again, just draw the pull down first. We'll do the pull down. Now we know how to do it. So we should be able to make it real quick. This entire thing was in series with P2, which in turn was in parallel to G2. And the pull up will have a PMOS with its input grounded. This becomes my VDD and this is my C2 bar. Similarly, we can show it for C3 and say C4 as well. So this is nothing but a zero and more circuit implementation. Let's quickly go ahead and make a dynamic implementation. So again, let's first draw the pull down. So for C1, G1, P1, C0. And we know that in dynamic circuit, there'll be a pull up transistor PMOS and there'll be an NMOS transistor connected in series with my pull down. And both of this will operate on phi and the output will be taken from here. So this is nothing but my C1 bar with additional two transistors. Similarly, I think here now you can draw it for C2, C3 and C4 as well. Very, very straightforward. Stay tuned. In the further clips, we'll see mirror style implementation of the carry look ahead, carry chain implementation. Thank you very much and take care.